the sounds of the beauty of nature. So calm, so peaceful. But what do you do? When nature calls. It's that time. I'm doing the toilet episode. I'm pretty sure it's a prerequisite if you're a content creator that deals with any variation of van life, traveling in your vehicle, camping in your vehicle, camping in general, you got to do a toilet video. Why? Good question. <laughs> it seems to be maybe behind safety, the number one question that we get asked about, or at least I do anyway, and that seems to be the hot topic pretty much all the time. And that's what do you do on the road when you've got to go? So that's what this episode is going to cover. Where do you go when you've got to go? BTW, what do you think about my shirt? Eh? Nice, right? Keeping it classy, baby. Keeping it classy. <laughs> but all jokes aside, that, at least for me, honestly, was one of the number one concerns that I had when hitting the road, aside from safety. Um, you know, what do you do if you encounter car issues or, you know, break down on the road? Of course, those types of things. But behind that, where am I going to pee or poop? And where am I going to get my coffee? We're pretty much my number two, ah, no pun intended, <laughs> concerns. But, um, you know, it's a valid question. I mean, it's not like you're in a hotel room, a condo, an Airbnb, where you typically have a toilet within just a couple of steps from you 24-7 when you're in your space for, you know, your relaxation, your sleep time, whatever the case may be. But when you retire for the evening or if you're stuck inside during a rainy day and nature calls, you know what to do to answer it. <laughs> you walk a few steps to the toilet, do your business and flush. But when you're on the road, if you're a nomad, if you're living in your vehicle full time, if you're traveling, if you're, you know, car camping, especially if you're at a campground that does not have facilities, you may not have that easy option. So it is something that you need to consider and think about. So let's talk about options. So my number one option is always going to be a flush toilet, if and when available. What that looks like is a little different depending on where I am. Uh, visitor centers, gift shops, public facilities um, like gas stations, libraries, places like that that have restrooms that you are free to use normally when you're not a patron are all good options. There's also places that you can go to during the day during business hours um, or, you know, depending on if it's 24-hour establishment places like Walmart, Target, um, Panera, places like that. Um, it is good if you need to run errands to maybe try to time that accordingly. So say I'm out and about and I'm driving from place A to place B and I know I'm going to need to use the restroom. I know I'm also going to need to run a couple of errands before I get to my next campsite. I'll, you know, combine both of those and run into Panera and use my free sips, you know, membership and get a free drink, you know, grab something for later or for the next day to eat and then use the facilities. Or if I need to pick up a couple of groceries, run into the grocery store, do what I need to do and use the restroom then. So those are my ideal options. If I'm out exploring, obviously visitor centers and places like that are ideal. A lot of times on scenic drives, like when I was in Big Cypress, there are places to pull over and use the restroom in certain areas. So those are ideal as well. And um, campgrounds, state parks, national parks. A lot of times there are facilities that are used 
or that are available for public in day use, even if you're not camping there. But if you are camping at places like that, most of the time the campgrounds will have some type of a public facility that you can use. Um, as you know, I've been doing a lot more free camping lately, so I don't have the um, washrooms that I do at a lot of the state parks and national parks that I'm used to with the flush toilets or if not flush toilets, at least vault toilets in an enclosed facility. But there are normally at least pit toilets. So, um, you know, nine times out of 10, I do have a plan A or option A available to me. <laughs> It's really just those times where I'm way off the beaten path, I'm out exploring in the middle of nowhere, I'm free camping and there are no facilities anywhere nearby, I'm stealth camping and I cannot leave my vehicle overnight, those types of scenarios. Let's talk about that. First, let me show you how I organize and set up my toilet when it's in travel mode here. I'm going to be putting these in there in a moment. This, by the way, I think I've mentioned it before, is actually <laughs> a fold-up travel diaper pad that folds out and it's uh, waterproof here. You can see the plastic lining. So I do put that down as an extra precaution in certain scenarios to avoid mess. And let's see what I keep inside the toilet. I have a couple of these that I actually got when I was in the hospital that are for vomiting. So I keep those just in case I get, you know, car sick or need something to dispose of waste in that category. I have some air freshener, my reusable urinal that I can clean and use again. That's just a plastic bottle here, as well as my compostable garbage bags. I'm going to go ahead and pop those on in there so that I have those as well as my waterproof pad. I have my shower wipes, which I've definitely talked about before. These things are amazingly awesome for a shower stand-in when you can't shower shower. No water required, except just to wet it a little bit. No rinsing, none of that. I've got some cedar shavings to absorb any moisture and smells. And that is my portable toilet. And then, of course, I just put the seat right on it with the lid, and then I can use it as extra surface space, a seat, storage, all of that. Although it does collapse flat, so I can tuck it away if I need to. And then as added insurance, I do keep it on a washable bath mat that is waterproof resistant, mildew resistant, all that stuff on the bottom. <clears throat> Easy washing just in case. <laughs> Before I get into the demo portion of this video, that's right, there's a demo portion. I'm gonna show you how I pee inside Tara, my minivan camper, and how I poop when I have to, which I will be honest with you, I can count on one hand with fingers to spare the number of times that I have had to do that but it has happened. So I'm gonna show you what I do in that instance with a demonstration. Now, I wanna give you the disclaimer, I am not actually going to be physically demonstrating how I go. I'm just gonna be showing you how I go without actually doing it, you know? I, I've, I've got boundaries, I've got limits. I'm not, I'm not out there that much. I'm putting myself out there a lot here in this episode, <laughs> but I have limits. So I'm really just gonna be keeping my lovely wardrobe as is and showing you that way without actually going through with everything but I think it'll be enough to paint the picture for you. <laughs> so before we do that, let me give you the obligatory toilet montage of some of the places that I mentioned as good alternatives when you don't need to go inside your vehicle. Cue it. Another great option is to 
take advantage of the trailheads. This one is particularly nice, as you can see. <laughs> if only they were all like this. Another bathroom option that I like to utilize when possible are state and national and other public type facilities, state park, national park. A lot of times, <clears throat> if they're not at a trailhead, they're nicer than just regular vault toilets. As you can see, they're pretty nicely kept considering this is mostly through the day here at a state park on a weekend. So this is definitely an option I'll utilize when possible. And of course, an added bonus is a lot of times you get beautiful views like this. <laughs> but not too well. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I do with one of the disposable urinals. It's the same thing with my reusable one, but I think these are a really neat tool for emergencies, so I wanna show this. Hold please. First thing I do is lay a towel down because I do not trust myself or chance. With these, I simply unroll it. If you're a guy, this goes in front, female. Uh, the tall part goes in back. If you're using a resealable one, you're going to want to make sure that it's not sealed because yikes. And then all I do is pull down my shorts, set this right here, make sure that it's pressed up where it should be and let her go. I like this kind because it's resealable so I seal that baby up and put it somewhere where I can dispose of it anywhere that you would diapers or things like that later on. I would again like to just stress over and over and over <laughs> that this option for me is just an emergency option only when there are no other alternatives so I do not prefer to go inside my minivan if I can help it but due to my health issues and you know just sometimes circumstances that's not always possible so I am again showing you this is an emergency option for me the first thing I do is line this with my compostable toilet bags. I lied. The first thing that I do is I put this down in here after I open it up, which I've explained before. It's actually something I've had since my kids were little bitty. It's an old diaper pad and it's waterproof. Since this toilet is not waterproof, 
if I did have an emergency spillage type situation, I'm going to do this with two hands in a minute. It would not be good with fabric. So that is the reason for this. Since this is just a demonstration and not for reals, I'm only going to be showing you with one bag. I do use double bag just to be safe normally. So I have it lined with one bag. Then I take my cedar shavings and I'll line a little bit in the bottom first. Okay, so I have the cedar shavings lining the bottom. Now it is ready to go. So if I do feel the urge, the first thing I'm gonna do, since I'm in an enclosed space and I have no other alternative, is I'm gonna prep the space. Let me explain. I'm gonna give this a little squirt or two or three into here first. Then I am going to put the lid back on for a nice comfy seat. <laughs> so as you can see, I do have plenty of headroom and space to get the job done. I keep wipes handy, toilet paper, air freshener, all the things. Once I'm done, I double bag it, seal it up after putting some cedar shavings on top for good measure, and get rid of that bad boy as soon as possible. I think that's pretty much as much as I need to go into as far as demonstration. You get the gist. Hopefully this was helpful and not just totally embarrassing for no reason. <laughs> All right, folks, <laughs> that's going to be a wrap. I think I have uh, humiliated myself enough for the day. Hopefully you got something out of this episode and you found it, if not only entertaining, informative as well, hopefully helpful. Maybe it kind of helped you visualize how you would deal with being on the road yourself if you've been struggling with that mental picture. <laughs> if not, I do apologize. I hope it wasn't too out there. But I did want to kind of give you the reality of it so you could see quite literally how I fit in my space when nature calls. Obviously, it's a little different when I'm in my other setup, um, but it's the same gist, same overall concept. I do have a little more space to move around in this particular setup, which made this demonstration a little bit easier. So with that said, I want to thank you for watching. I do appreciate you. And if you did like this, or you know, if you at least appreciate me putting myself out there to do this video, give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to give me a super thanks to help me out and show me that you found this useful, that would be even more awesomer. Yep, I said awesomer. And, um... If you're not already subscribed and you do find this type of content amusing at least, hopefully helpful. If you also like going on adventures, getting park reviews, campground reviews, hiking reviews, and more van life and travel content, then I hope you'll subscribe if you are not already. And I will see you again very soon. Bye friends.